Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers, and thank you for tuning in today for my brief daily message of hope, a little jump start uh, to the day or to the afternoon or to the night, whenever you need a jump start. That's where we help each other. We give each other a boost as we are going down this uh, road of life, and we're all destined for eternity. Uh, where we live in eternity is uh, not only uh, something we need to worry about, but it should be first on our list of priorities. We want to spend eternity with, eternity with the Lord. And uh, I've, I've heard all sorts of things over the last 33 years in the ordained ministry and 11 years before that as an investigative newspaper reporter, and I've heard just about everything. Uh, and even people who think and believe that they are doing what is good and right and just in the world uh, uh, under the laws of God and the laws of man often forget that there are ways that we can be encouraging other people into sin. And uh, we need to be careful about that because uh, God's law does not want us to be complicit in the sins of others. And there are ways we do that sometimes when we don't even believe we are. And uh, we, we need to confess those and get rid of them too. And to stop doing the things that encourage others uh, to break the law of God and of course of man also. Uh, because we're on the way to eternity and we want to make sure we get to the right destination once we're there. Uh, I have this in the last couple of days dug out a couple of old devotional books that I used to read uh, quite a bit. And sometimes it's very helpful for me to, to get out some of the old things I've read and just to, to let them go through my mind a little bit. And I found an old book that's called The Practice of Religion. Um, I don't remember who gave this to me. It was probably a, a dear friend of mine um, uh, who was one of my best friends. I believe he's the one who gave this to me. He's with the Lord now. But uh, one of the things that I just want to have us put in our, the forefront of our minds today is we need to be not only careful about our own actions overtly in the world, but we need to be careful about our covert actions uh, that may even be unknown to us that we're doing. These are traditionally called the ways that we share in the sins of others. Now, we, no one, I think, really wants to, to be a lawbreaker. Of course, we know under the eyes of the, the law of grace that God has given us, we all break the law. And it's only the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that can rescue us from that. But in the meantime, we're supposed to do uh, good and just and right things in the world today as we make our way toward eternity, which is a destination no one's going to be able to avoid. And uh, there's a story about W.C. Fields, the great comedian at the end of his life, uh, thumbing through a Bible uh, at his bed. And someone came in and said, well, Mr. Field, you're not, you're not religious. Why are you looking in the Bible? You've never done that. And he goes, I'm looking for loopholes, looking for loopholes. Don't count on loopholes. It's all spelled out very clearly to us now. But focus today, and like I am today, on ways that we share in the sins of others, even if we don't know it. And there are nine of these things. One, the first one is by evil counsel, by counseling someone to partake of evil. And that can encourage uh, people to do things uh, just simply by uh, counseling them in an evil manner. Um, we can also, by provocation, we can provoke people into doing things that are not right or that are harmful to them or others. Uh, we can conceal it. By concealment, we participate in the sins of others when we help them conceal what they're doing. Of course, in the eyes of God, nothing is concealed because he sees everything and hears everything, uh, and he knows even your thoughts. Uh, we can command. By command, we share in the sins of others. By silence, we share in the sins of others. And we all know people who have gone off the deep end um, and are engaged in difficult and troubling behavior. And by keeping silent, when we could be speaking out, uh, we share in those sins. By flattery, we share in the sins of others when we flatter them for their sins. By defense, when we defend those uh, 
who are taking part in harmful actions to themselves and others. When we defend them, we're sharing in those sins. By praising them, we share in the sins of others. And by consent, we share in the sins of others when we agree with them in the actions that they're taking. So see, not only can we be, and we are, lawbreakers, and I confess that I'm a lawbreaker in the eyes of God, St. Paul says we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and so we have. And it's the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ that pulls us from that once we believe in him and give our hearts to him and take up our cross and follow him as our Lord and Savior. Uh, we're on the way into eternity. And remember, that's the final destination for all of us. That's the crossroads, the ultimate crossroads is death. It's not the end. It's just the passageway into eternity. And we need to make sure that we're headed in the right direction when we get to eternity. Because there are ways we can share the sins of others and not even know it. By evil counsel, by provocation, by concealment, by command, by silence, by flattery, by defense, by praise, and by consent. And the one that's on my mind heavenly today is uh, people who we know who have had abortions. And we know that God is most definitely pro-life. We're going to have to stand before God and explain uh, how and, and give an accounting for the way we've lived. And if we have encouraged someone or counseled someone or flattered them or praised them or consented to an abortion, the taking of human life in the womb, we're sharing in those sins. So we should be humbled by that. I, I, I am humbled by it because we share in the sins of others all the time, all the time. And so we may think that we're doing the right things, and we may be, but not when we're sharing in the sins of others. So take this opportunity to just think and pray about that today. We're headed in the, all the same direction, but when we get to the grave and the gate of death, what happens next will depend a lot on how we live our lives today, but mainly on the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. So make sure you're in right standing with the Lord. Uh, today's a good day to do that. Every day is a good day to do that, but don't wait another day. We don't know when we will not have. We don't know when our days will be over. So the, the good news for today is God is with you to help you. Jesus is right there. Ask him for his advice. Let him share in your life and your thoughts and in your words. He'll lead you exactly to where he wants you to be, and that's to eternity with him. And that's the best news I can think of. God bless you. I'll see you right here again tomorrow.